Hallelujah. Good evening. I'm here once again to bring you the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are a church without limit where we bring you the gospel of Christ Jesus. My name is Pastor Joanita Paul. I'm so grateful and so blessed to bless you through the word of God. I'm here requesting you that you just take your time and listen to me for you to receive the oracles of our God. Hallelujah. And this evening we are continuing building our faith and receiving the substances that give our faith life. Hallelujah. And today we uh, and this evening the word or the theme of our our word today is if you believe if you believe there is something which will happen in your life, glory to Jesus. And we are going to leave John chapter 11 from verse 38. Uh, let us hear the word of God. Jesus, once more deep removed, came to, tomb, to the tomb. It was a cave with uh, a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the, the stone, he said, but the Lord said, but the Lord said mother the sister of the dead man dead man by this time there is a bad wall for he has been there for four days hallelujah he has been there for four days mother waited for jesus to come when lazarus was in uh, was healing when he was sick he, he has not yet died and they made uh, um, they approached jesus to come and heal Lazarus. But Jesus tarried before to come and heal Lazarus. And now Lazarus has already died. Hallelujah. He has been put in tomb for four days now. And Jesus has arrived. Hallelujah. Jesus wanted them to know something. Hallelujah. Jesus wanted them to know something. And Jesus wanted them to believe the word of God. He, even though they, he tallied, he wanted them to believe when I come, surely there will be a resurrection of your, of your brother. Glory to Jesus. But mother was sympathizing with, his, with, her, with her brother because he went through a terrible moment of sicknesses. And they have, all, all, they have approached Jesus and Jesus seems that it, has, it is not a, 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 a big deal to him. But Jesus wanted them to believe if when, when I come, there will be something which will happen. Jesus was trying to put, uh, to, uh, to, to install in the mind of mother that there is something which will happen hallelujah verse 40 says this then jesus said did i not tell you did i not tell you that if you believe hallelujah if you believe hallelujah did i tell you if you believe glory to jesus you will see the glory of god didn't i tell you hallelujah and now god want us to believe in his word jesus told them if you believe we all will surely see the glory of god glory to jesus but they had that spirit of unbelief that's why they began to complain when jesus told them remove the, the stone hallelujah and mother tried to tell jesus the it is now four days which are gone. The body has already rotten. Glory to Jesus. And Jesus told them, did I tell you? If you believe, you will surely see the glory of God. Glory to Jesus. And now God wants us to believe in his word. Even though your business is not working, he is reminding you, the entire tell you, if you believe, you will surely see the glory of God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. And verse, verse 41 says this, so they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up, up and said, Father, I thank you that you have had me hallelujah father i thank you because you have had me yes because jesus had that confident in him to his father towards his father before he say any word any word before his father he believed that he has already seen the matter which is taking over glory to jesus he said that i thank you lord because you hear me you have heard me glory to jesus verse 42 says this 
I knew that you always hear me. Glory to Jesus. I knew that always you hear me. Uh, but I said this because they, I, I said this for the benefit of the people standing here that they may believe that you you sent me. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Jesus said that because of what? Of benefit of those people who were there because of the spirit of unbelief which was in them. Glory to Jesus. Our God don't want us to operate in that spirit of unbelief. He wants us to believe in his word. He wants us to believe what he has said. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And you have to believe that when you pray, uh, your father hears you. Glory to Jesus. Jesus. Jesus said that because of what? Of the benefit of those people who are there and they were doubting. Glory to Jesus. So you are not there to doubt God. You are there to stand and decree and believe what God has said. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus declared that because of what? Of that spirit of unbelief. Do you have that spirit? Are you struggling for, through that spirit of unbelief? Arise now and you believe and surely you will see the glory of God. If it is your marriage is perishing, ah, arise and believe that you will surely see the glory of God covering your marriage. Hallelujah. Ah, arise and believe that surely you will see the glory of God, your business flourishing. Hallelujah. That was the benefit of those people who were there. So that they believe the word of God. Hallelujah. We are not there to struggle with the spirit of doubt. Ah, uh ah, -uh, unbelief spirit. Uh, that's what the devil wants us to struggle with it. He wants to put us in that stag uh, stagnation area of unbelief spirit. Hallelujah. But our God wants us to arise and believe him. Oh, glory to Jesus. If you arise and you believe God, will you? You will surely see the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Verse number 43. When he had said this, Jesus called, called in, Jesus called in a loud voice. Lazarus, come out. Hallelujah. He called with a loud voice. You have been praying. You have been asking. But now arise. Uh, add your volume. Add your volume. Add your volume. And begin to decree. Uh, declare life to those who are perishing. Hallelujah. If your business is perishing. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice. Uh, with a loud voice. And declare life to your business. Uh, declare life to your marriage. Declare life upon your children. Glory to Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus with a loud voice. Glory to God. And that verse 44 says this. Then the dead man came out. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are business we raise again in the name of Jesus. When Jesus called Lazarus, Lazarus came out from the tomb. Glory to Jesus. The, the the dead man came out. He had he had he, his head, head and feet wiped and stripes with of linen. Hallelujah. That means he was wiped. Arikwa mefungwa. Hallelujah. Praise God. He was not even able to walk. Hallelujah. He was covered with a grave uh, cloth in his face. He could not see. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And, the, and a cloth round his face. Jesus said, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Take off the grave clothes and let it, him go. Hallelujah. Take off the grave growth and let him go hallelujah we need to be opened our uh, through our, our minds and see the realities of our god hallelujah he says and he commanded them those who were there oh hallelujah ah come and remove the cloth which we are the grave clothes which we are already nazo. hallelujah and jesus wanted to see lazarus walking but he was binded because he was already hallelujah he was been there oh 
He was not able even to walk, though he has come back to life. Glory to Jesus. You need to be delivered by the word of God. You need to see beyond your senses. You need to be to see the beyond of what you can consume. Hallelujah. Because the power of God is not a limited power. It is power that bring back life. It is power that to rejuvenate again. Hallelujah. Your business will raise again and you will walk in a higher height. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You need to believe if you only believe the word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to Jesus. And when Lazarus was removed, those grave clothes, you know there is that mind that cometh to your mind, <laughs> as though that thought cometh to your mind, and to try to struggle with you, trying to tell you all to demiss to demiss you, and trying to show you, trying to show you that you cannot make it. Ah, my business already is down, but now I have come to let you know: if you only believe what God has said, you are going to raise again. Hallelujah! You are going to see things up rating to another liam hallelujah you will see greater things happening into your life if you only believe hallelujah and we are going to read first john glory to jesus we are going to read first john chapter 5 from verse 13 there from verse 13 14 there and we are going to see what we need to have when we believe glory to jesus First John chapter 5, verse 14. This is the confident, hallelujah. This is the confident we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will, he hear us, hallelujah. And if we know that he hear us, whatever we ask, we know that we have whatever we ask before. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, this is the confident that we have. Uh, this is the confident that we have with our Father. Glory to Jesus. If you are asking something today, hallelujah, have that confident that what you have asked from your Father, you have already had it and you have received it. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And that's why he says that if you, if you believe, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Jesus asked the, 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 uh, Martha because he saw inside, him, inside her there was doubt in her. And he reminded her again. Didn't I tell you? If you believe, you will see the glory of God. Ah, I have come to remind you now. Eh, didn't I tell you? If you believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. You don't have to quit and go far away or you divorce. Hallelujah. You are there to stand strong and see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are not there to close the doors of your, of, of your, of your business because of economy. He says, if you believe, you will see the restoration of your business. Hallelujah. If you believe, the glory of God will cover you. Glory to Jesus. This is the Lord and he is speaking to us. He wants us to have that confidence in us. <laughs> when we approach him, whatever we believe, hallelujah, whatever we ask, hallelujah, and because we believe in him, we believe that we have received it, hallelujah. This is a part of faith. <laughs> it is a step of faith to believe God. <laughs> Lazarus was dead. He was no more. He had no voice. He, even no one could come before uh, uh, around the tomb because there was a, a, a bad smell which was coming out from the tomb. Because he has rested there for four days. I don't know your business, how it is for how many months, how many years. But I have come to let you know, if you believe, you will surely see the glory of God. Hallelujah. And when Martha was there, being disturbed by the spirit of unbelief, and this spirit of unbelief, it is pushing people to go and do against the will of God. If you are not sensitive, you will find yourself doing things that 
that, that, that doesn't praise God. Glory to Jesus. If you come to that point of believing God, you will surely see the glory of God. Hallelujah. The confidence that we have when we approach our Father, when you approach your God, hallelujah, believe what you ask from him, you have received it, hallelujah. You are asking, how will I re receive it? It is by faith. <laughs> it is by faith you will receive by faith. And then God will surely bring it to the reality, hallelujah. Mother couldn't, uh, uh, couldn't uh, believe that Lazarus will raise up again. But Jesus was there. And he called his father. <laughs> and he's showing us if we call our father with that spirit of believing in him. Hallelujah. There will be restoration. Glory to Jesus. Lazarus was restored back to life because Jesus was there and was training was training mother and sister and sister of the brother that who has have, has died to come uh, to arise in believe to arise in that spirit of belief to come out to earth spirit of unbelief so that they can see the glory of god i want to believe that jesus was trying to train them when they were there even lazarus but they never caught it they never caught it and now time has come of trouble Hallelujah. The time has come for trouble. And this is the time that God wants us to arise and believe and trust in him. When they, Jesus was there, he called Lazarus. What is that which look, what is that has gone away from you? It looked like it is dead. Now arise and call it back. Glory to Jesus. Arise now and call it back with a loud voice. Jesus called Lazarus with a loud voice. And Lazarus came out from the grave. Glory to Jesus. There is resurrection of your life. There is resurrection of your family. There is restoration of your marriage. There is restoration of your business. Hallelujah. If you want to, uh, to open a business, have that spirit of believing in God. And we will surely, surely see the glory of God to that business that you are going to open. Glory to Jesus. And you will come back with a testimony. Testifying of good things that God has done to you. Hallelujah. And Lazarus raised up again. He walked again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let your mind, let your mind come to that sensitivity. And you know that this is the time I need to arise and believe my God more, more than ever before. Glory to Jesus. Before, because if you believe in his word, you will surely see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. You will surely eat the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to Jesus. Because our God doesn't dwell to those who are dead. The dead has gone. Hallelujah. And that's why he called Lazarus back to life. Because he is living God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. We need to be courageous and have that confidence. When we approach our God with that spirit of believing that whatever I ask from him, he will surely give unto me. Hallelujah. When God trains us, he will put us in a situation where he wants us to see him and see him alone. Glory to Jesus. Mother needed to see Lazarus alive. <laughs> But they didn't know how he will wake up again from grave. The bad smell is coming. He has rotten. His body is rotten. Glory to Jesus. But when Jesus arrived, glory to Jesus. When Jesus arrived to the tomb, glory to Jesus. He told them, ah, now remove the, the stone. Glory to God. Remove the stone. Before they removed that stone, there were so many questions. They were questioning Jesus. How can it be? How will it be? Hallelujah. But Jesus told them, remove the stone hallelujah oh glory to jesus hallelujah we need to arise as children of the kingdom of god and breathe our father believe whatever he has said his word are well perfectly and announced to our lives so we ask we are the one to take and take with it oh dear hallelujah this is the time we need to arise and believe our god because he's trust forming our lives in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. And when Razara came out, he was not able to walk. 
Hallelujah. Because he was tied with those grave clothes. Maybe your mind has been tied up to, back to your background. And you see, it is like there is nothing good can come out from you. Hallelujah. <laughs> untie yourself now. Go before the Lord and untie yourself now. Because if you believe this word and you begin to understand the rules and regulation of the kingdom of God and you work upon them, you will surely see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Let your mind be free to, 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 to receive the promises of God. Do not be there tied up because of your background. Whatever people are saying, whatever is taking over the world, oh, glory to Jesus, you will be one of them, those who will mount like a nigga because they believed the word of God and God rejuvenated their strength. Hallelujah. They moved to another higher level when other we are drawing, drowning because of their unbelief. If you believe, of, believe the word of God, you will surely mount like a nigga. You will not drown because because your, your spirit is connected. It is fully connected with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. This is the time we need to arise in the spirit of believing our God. The uh, devil wants us to write with that spirit of unbelief. So that it can delay our blessings. But we are here to arise again. We are here to walk again. We are here to stand and move according to the the glory of God. Hallelujah. When we believe the word of God, he will surely shower us with his glory. We will shine and we will look good because God is in us and we have believed his word. Hallelujah. You have to have that confident. Mm. And you believe whatever you have asked, he hears you. You don't need anybody to ask for you. You need only you yourself to call your father. And then you believe when you ask from him, he hears you and he responds to your prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know why uh, many are delaying their businesses? Uh, uh, many are delaying their blessings? Because they are waiting for somebody else to call the Father on their behalf. Glory to God. Access, the, uh, access that, uh, uh, approach your dad. With the confident and believe that whatever I ask my father, because it is your father, even though we are billions and millions of people in this planet, he is still your father. Go before him, he cannot ignore you. Glory to Jesus. When you believe and when you enter in that, uh, when you have that confidence and you approach him, glory to God. We need to go by our own self. Yes, I will pray for you. <laughs> But there is more impact of you and your God. Hallelujah. Because everyone has a need and everybody is going to our father. He's going to his father. Hallelujah. Even you, this is the affirmation that we have been given. The confident. We have to have that confidence when we approach our father. When you pray, <laughs> receive it. Hallelujah. Because you have gone with, the, with that spirit of believing that he will surely reward you according to his word. Hallelujah. We need to stand strong. We need to keep moving day by day without that spirit of doubt. Our God don't want to doubt him. He wants us to stand because he has given us a regal ground to stand. He has given us the ability. He has given us a capacity to carry on. Hallelujah. So we need to stand and be courageous when we approach our father. When you approach your father. What is that you want your father to give it to you? Hallelujah. And this evening, if you believe in him, he will surely give unto you. If you believe in him. He will surely give unto you. And the word has told us that we have to have confidence when we approach him. So you don't have to, to, to have doubt when you go, when you go before him. You have to have that spirit of believing. Uh, fully loaded that when I go and I approach my father. Glory to Jesus. Once upon a time, I believed in God and I didn't know how it will come to pass. But within few months it came to pass and God reminded me hallelujah 
it is bad to forget. Hallelujah. It is bad to forget what God has done to you. Because when you forget, you will fail in your faith. But when you remember, it will bid your faith tomorrow. Glory to Jesus. Because he has surely done it for you. He has surely performed it for you. This is the time we need to arise in our faith. This is the time we need to believe in our God. Our God never failed. He did fail his, his son when his son called Lazarus from grave. He surely arised and the power of resurrection was there. You don't need to pray so long prayers. Jesus said, surely I know you hear me and you have heard me. But I said this because of what these people who are standing here for the benefit of their belief. Hallelujah. So that they may believe that Jesus was sent by God. And because we are children of kingdom of God, we carry him in us. Hallelujah. Whatever we speak with our mouth, hallelujah, we create glory to Jesus. So you are the one who carry power to bring restoration of what is, uh, has died in your life. To bring resurrection to that, to that, that thing that has died in your life. Glory is to Jesus. What is that that you are staggering with it in your life? What is that that tried to hinder you that you cannot see far? Hallelujah. This is the time to believe that God will take it away. Hallelujah. God will take it away. Glory to Jesus. And Jesus said, remove the stone. Hallelujah. Jesus is ready to take it away. Glory to Jesus. He told mother, remove the stone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What is that you are struggling with it in your life? Remove the stone and you see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Yes, the stone that you have, it is spirit of doubt. Remove that stone and you will see the glory of God. Glory to Jesus. When you have that confidence, when you approach him, whatever you ask, he will surely give it to you. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. This is God that we serve. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly. abundantly. Yes, because he's full of power. He's able to bring back whatever has been taken away. Hallelujah. He is God and he is able to do all things. Glory to Jesus. Amen. If you only believe in him. If you only take your time and reconcile your back to him. And reject the spirit of unbelief and believe God. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening me. Hallelujah. Thank you for that voice has come to your mind. Thank you for taking your time. And listening to, to listen the word of God. This is the time. And you are going to experience the power of God. And resurrection of those things which has died in your life. Coming back to life. Because you are going to have a testimony. You will testify. Glory to Jesus. Thank you so much. I'm here and I want to pray with you. And I want you to believe according to this word. According to this word, Jesus said to mother, if you believe, didn't I tell you, if you believe, you will surely see the glory of God. Don't doubt this word. If you surely believe this evening, this word who has spoken to your life, you will see the restoration of your life. Hallelujah. I want to, to pray with you. And you who is far away from the kingdom of God, you have not received Christ Jesus as your personal savior. The one who resurrects life to bring them back. Hallelujah. That sinful nature, he wants to remove it and give you the newness of him in you. Hallelujah. So I want to welcome you in the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ, our, our, our personal savior, he is waiting to, for you to receive you, to receive you and to usher you in to the kingdom of our father. You are not born again. I will read you to this prayer. And when you pray this prayer, believe. Don't have doubt. Salvation is by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Say this prayer with me. Jesus Christ, I believe I am a sinner. And I have come to you. Forgive my sin. And receive me in the kingdom of God. 
I have chosen to, be, to, to receive you as my personal savior. I give my life to you. Take dominion over my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have said that prayer, you are born again. And continue building your faith in this word of God. May the Lord keep you and, and, and protect you as you continue walking in the light of God. When you receive Christ, Christ is the light of the holy universe. You have light in you. Don't go back to darkness. Darkness has taken, have been taken away by Jesus. And now you have the light of God. Hallelujah. And you, that you believe that when we pray, there's something will take over in your life. I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for my viewer. He has heard this word and he has taken a, a, a step of believing in you. May you meet the needs that he has. May you make a visitation to his life, to, his, to her life in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As we continue, I said uh, there in, the, in the beginning, my names are Pastor John, Joanita Paul. And we are here to bring you the gospel of Christ Jesus. If you would like to, to support us, there is number there. And you can support us, support this ministry. And God will surely bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord be, do you well until we meet again on Sunday. Thank you for taking your time and listening to me. Amen. Amen.